Hey everybody, it's Dr. Cody Rawl, your medical doctor confidant. In this very special episode of Tech First Psych, I'm gonna take you alongside me as we go to the Consumer Electronics Show 2022 to talk to brain computer interface technology companies. Brain computer interface is happening right before our eyes. There was at least a half a dozen companies here at CES despite all the world events going on. So I had a lot of fun meeting with them. One of the cool things about being on YouTube with brain computer interface specific channel is that I'll have several companies reach out to me that want to do product demonstrations of their latest technology. So I've got some really cutting edge stuff to show you here. And a lot of these technologies have never really been shown public in this way before. We'll take a look at a pulsed electromagnetic frequency or PEMF device similar to the NeoRhythm that had me sinking into my chair. Then we'll take a look at a high-end gold standard EEG helmet that's been FDA approved in South Korea and soon will be approved in the American FDA as well. And then we'll take a look at a device that can detect brain signals from your ear canal to do several fantastic things to include track where your eyes are looking. One of the reasons I moved to Las Vegas was for quick access to all the great conferences that they have here every year, like Consumer Electronics Show. So it was great to put that into practice and have a world-class conference with cutting-edge technology right at my fingertips and a short distance from my front door. Hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome, Dr. Roll. It's so great to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. It's a weird, it's a surreal experience. Yeah. <laughs> you saw me on YouTube and now here I am. Well, I found out by Neo, about Near Rhythm through your videos. Neo the way I initially was introduced to devices like other devices, neuromodulation devices like Near Rhythm, was actually through through you, Dr. Roll. And um, one of the, the <laughs> crazy things is that after we got Near Rhythm, and you, you talked about it, I smashed it open. I'm like, I have to figure out how this works. And now I figured out a new device. Now we, so. have, now we have new technology. I guess I have to thank people. you, Dr. Roll. Well, you. I, you, you're the entrepreneur. You're the one that has come up with this. First on the list was a demonstration from co-founders Kamran and Nadia Ansari, who have devised a pulsed electromagnetic frequency device that influences the brain, similar to the NeoRhythm device that I reviewed a couple of years ago. Actually, it was those videos specifically that inspired Kamran to take his designs to a whole new level. So it was really fun meeting up with them, talking about their company Fluxware and their flagship product shift. All right, got my hat. Here we are. Ready to shift. We're gonna be testing. I'm ready to shift. <laughs> shift into a meditative state. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed it. Fantastic. Um, so PEMF stands for Pulse Electromagnetic Fields, and in this case, Pulse Electromagnetic Field Therapy. So in here, there's the, a, bat, you know, a bat recharge battery, a board, but actually all around here, I don't know if you can see where those stitch marks are. Yeah. Every single place, there's one of these. Oh, okay, it's and, in the top of the hat too. Yeah, and what the research started to show is that if you had very low intensity magnetic fields, I mean, a lot of simulation works at millitesla level, tesla level. Right. For consumer devices, it's usually either micro or millitesla. Even at nanotesla level, people were seeing statistically significant effects. And I was wondering, how is that possible? It's right? bizarre. It's, yeah. it's weird because there's 30 years of research. I mean, you, you probably know a lot of it. And I, when Nadi was six, spent every single day reading every single paper I could about PEMF and fibromyalgia, PEMF and arthritis, PEMF and neuropathic pain, P everything. And there was amazing data. I started using it in um, October of 2020, so I had Guillain-Barre syndrome since 2017. And I was using it every time I felt pain, and I felt a big difference. Because usually, you know, I'd have to go an hour away to acupuncture clinics, and those would be the only thing I'd get relief from, but it's just so hard to go to. Yeah. And so when I first tried shift and I felt the same effect I feel when I go to acupuncture for an hour, I was really stunned because I wasn't expecting it to happen in the 25 minutes and for it to be at home. So honestly, with the electromagnetic coils all through that hat, I felt like the effect was even more powerful than I've felt on NeoRhythm. It really had me sinking into the chair in, in a very calm and relaxed state. So I'm really excited to see where Kamran and Nadia take it next. And we'll definitely have a more in-depth product review on this channel when they start shipping out units later this year. Next on the list was to visit the iMedisync booth. You might remember earlier this year when I interviewed their CEO and founder, Dr. Khan, who described their iSync Wave helmet 
prototype that uses EEG for detection and near infrared light to help diagnose and treat mental health disorders. It was great to finally meet with the team and try the headset on in person. I was really impressed. The headset was very comfortable and I really hope they gain traction in American clinics to help diagnose mental health disorders using the objective brain data. They will be sending me a report on the brain data that they collected during the conference. So I'm looking forward to seeing that later. It will be great to see what they can do with the technology as it gains American FDA approval and they start doing more clinical trials in clinics. It's nice to see it in person. Yeah, finally. <laughs> finally. <laughs> Eight months later. Eight months later. So are we going to try the photo modulation at all or just look at EEG? Oh, for this show, maybe you, you can just it. Yeah. EEG. EEG. Okay. Yeah. 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 These electrodes so in connect with your scalp. Yeah. Check your signal. Sensors. For you too. <laughs> I was also able to try on some competing products like the Hatby, Lifted, and Magnosis. These are really interesting companies as well that I will have to do more content on in the near future. But since I didn't spend much time with them, I honestly haven't fully formed my opinions on them and don't want to state those publicly just yet. Then I got to meet up with the co-founder of IDUN, Severin Gizen, who did a product demonstration for me of a device that actually tracks EEG signals from your ear canals and can do some pretty wild things. You're with IDUN. Hi. Hi everybody, this is the device at the moment, you can see here the sensor, uh, this is like dry uh, electrodes for biopotential monitoring and uh, this is the innovation that we came from originally and we integrate this into uh, headphones to measure your brain activity during the day and also during the night so it's having long term uh, EG activity versus having very accurate uh, punctual activity. He's ready for all questions. We got Severin and Mark here. So first the EDEN team showed me a demonstration of the raw data from each EEG ear sensor. And what struck me immediately is that each tracing was similar from both sides of the head. So there's a type of built-in quality control of the signal, which is really nice. I mean, this is, this is a good signal because we're seeing a lot of frequency activity. Uh, we see that when you're doing a few different artifacts that uh, the, the signal amplitude is changing. And what we do is have a, we have a processing pipeline where we extract frequency features similar to many other EEG systems. Uh, then we can also develop different classifiers for these, what were originally called artifacts, like eye movements or muscle movements related to the mouth. We've seen that there's also many different applications for not just cleaning out those signals, but capturing them, classifying them, and then also using those as inter interaction mechanisms with different product experiences. That's really cool because that just is like automatic validity. Yeah. Right there that they're tracing each other. Yeah, exactly. Next, they showed me a demo of how the EEG from your ear canal can actually tell which way your eyes are looking by using their machine learning software. This is still a relatively early prototype, so we developed the classifier. There's a lot that's still going to happen with optimization and also personalization of it in the future. Yeah, but I just tested it and did exactly what I was already doing. Yeah. <laughs> that so, was amazing. Yeah. So, that was amazing. We're so happy it yeah. works. So, wow, um, that is so cool. So the way this would uh, ask you to, to do this. I don't know if you guys have tried NextMind Not before. Yet. So like, that was cool because they have the little tags that mm -hmm. flicker and when you look at a tag, uh, it depends on how well it's calibrated, but there usually will be like a little bit of delay mm -hmm. before like the actual action happens. So this reminds me of it where, you know, you do it and you're kind of like waiting and then it happens. Yeah, you know? mm -hmm. there is a, that's also what we experienced from, there is a delay um, at the moment. Hi, I'm Mark Melikovic, uh, application engineer and product manager by Eden. So we're talking about our audio experience. And one thing that we think is really interesting for the future is to understand how physical intention can be translated into different audio experiences. So for example, when I'm in a room and there's a lot of people talking and I look one way because I'm like physically directing my attention there, it would be really awesome, and this is one vision that we have, is that our, our hearables or our hearing aids 
then change their change the way they work and amplify the sound in that direction. So that's a bit of what we're trying to and what we're building at Eden is the foundation for new human computer interaction using signals from the ear, biosignals from the ear. Just think of what you could do with earbuds that knew which way you were looking. There's a lot of virtual reality and healthcare implications there. I wouldn't be surprised if this company actually got acquired by one of the bigger tech companies like Apple or Samsung in the future. CES really showed me that brain data is going more mainstream. It's going to be awesome to see these companies develop, talk with larger tech companies, further perfect their technology and integrate them into use cases that could really help us in our everyday lives. I hope you got a sense of that just by looking at this video. And uh, I was asked recently where are some of the best uh, demonstrations of brain computer interface technologies that I've seen. And I told them that CES actually really has it going on as far as BCI goes. So I hope to see you there next year.